Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I've got a really exciting topic for all of you guys out there. So in this video, we'll actually be seeing how you can swap faces on a video with, you know, the new deep fake AI technology using Google Collab Notebook. So yeah, let's just say uh, you are an editor and you need to basically work on, you know, certain things in which you are basically deep faking and you are swapping the faces in the video, you know, using any picture or, you know, any JPG or PNG image like that. So it is video i will show you guys how you can do that for absolutely free by using google collab notebook so you basically you don't need any you know high-end gpus or you know high-end graphics card for that you can simply do that by using google collab notebook without any problem so if you guys might be wondering like what is google collab notebook right so google collab notebook is basically free cloud-based platform that provides access to powerful gpu resources which are you know essential for the intensive computations required in the fake creation okay so yeah, Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, I want you guys to open the link that I'll be providing below the description of this video. So as soon as you open the link, you will uh, straight away jump into this Roop Google Collab Notebook platform. So Roop over here is basically very useful if you are, you know, dealing with videos such as deepfake. So it's very useful for those purposes. So over here, uh, you can see we have three sections, right? So first of all, we have clone rope repo and install dependencies then we have the download model and then we have the defake model so this section right here will basically you know uh install all the dependencies and all the essential tools that you'll be requiring for defake technology and this is the basically we have the download model okay so this will download the having face and i you know all the essential things that we need uh, in this particular project, you can say. And then we have the last project, which is Deepfake, which is basically the whole working of this video. So over here, we have Target. So over here, uh, you'll probably basically provide the video that you want to, you know, Deepfake. And after that, you will provide the source. So the source is going to be your image, uh, your JPEG, PNG, or whatever formatted image that you want that image, you know, to be defaked in your uh, particular video. All right. So this is for that. Then we have content stuff. This, this will be basically the output that will be generated as a result of the deepfake video. All right, so enough of the discussion. Now let's just see how you can do that. So uh, first of all, I need you to uh, go to the first section right over here. And basically what you need to do is you need to click on this button right over here. So this will basically, you know, start working. Uh, and uh, you just need to click on run anyway. Don't worry about that. So it will take a bit of time. And uh, as you guys can see over here as well, it says connecting. So whenever we see a tick sign, which I can see right over here, so it means, you know, the first step has been completed. You just need uh, to wait for just a little bit more. All right, so as you guys can see right over here on the top right, so we get an idea, you know, this has been completed. So now we'll jump into our next step, which was download the model. So that will download, you know, basically the hugging face and everything that in important libraries and important tools for uh, this particular project. So you just need to wait for that as well. All right, so this step has been completed successfully as well, as you guys can see right over here. So now we'll come to the main working of the project, which is deep fake. So over here, we have to do two, three things. First of all, we need to uh, import our video. We need to import our image and uh, we need to, you know, just rename the name of the output. Or if you want to do that, you can you can or if you want you can skip that step as well all right so for that uh, we have to import uh, the video and the image and for that you need to go to this file option right over here okay so this will basically you know just uh, open a file option for your google collab notebook and over here uh, you need to import your video and your image okay which is right over here okay all right so if i show you guys this is basically you know the video that i have selected for uh, this uh, particular project. So this is just, you know, a video of a guy who is reading news of a bulletin. And, you know, I'll, I'll basically be uh, changing the face or swapping the face of, uh, you know, another person on this person by using deep fake AI technology by and also by using a Will Lab notebook and the person that I'm doing it for, uh, which is basically this guy right over here. I hope you guys are familiar with this person. This is Andrew Garfield. So I'll be basically, you know, changing the face of the person on uh, this video right over here, okay? So yeah, now uh, let's just go ahead and do that real quickly. So first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it. Okay, so first of all, we just need to go to the target and over here, I need to paste, uh, you know, my video path. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, copy path over here and just gonna go ahead and paste it right over here. And yeah, after that, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same for my picture as well. And the source 
is going to be uh, the path of the image that I just copied. All right. And yeah, I think that's it. And for the output, I think let it be like that it doesn't matter. So now I'm just going to go ahead and run this file and it will take a bit of a time, obviously, depending on the video. So my video was only 15 or 20 seconds. So it won't take uh, that much time for me. But, you know, let's just run that and see what happens. All right. All right, so as you guys can see right over here, so we have four confirmation messages. It's saying creating video uh, with 30 FPS, then it's restored. The audio might cause it just because or not kept. Then it said creating temporary resources. Then we have processing to video succeeded. So this message basically shows, you know, the video is done. And if you can go ahead and go to the file, you can see we have swap.m4. So this is basically the output of our project today all right so now let's just go ahead and play it and compare it with our uh, you know previous video to see like what difference it made and you know how it is different from our like you know the initial video all right all right so as you guys can see right over here so this was our initial video and now this is basically you know the end result of our video and uh, if I can show you guys once again, so this was, you know, our image that we provided. And from that, it produces this video to us. So, yeah, I hope you like this tutorial about, you know, deep faking and how you can swap faces in any videos. So, yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.